Acute upper gastrointestinal bleeding can be a difficult and a challenging condition. Cook Medical created Hemospray, an innovative endoscopic spray that can achieve hemostasis in non-varicele upper GI bleeds. Hemospray deploys without contact with the bleeding site or the need for the precision of other treatment modalities. Dealing with hemostasis is a daily challenge for endoscopists, but here at Queen's Medical Centre, an innovative device, the Hemospray, is giving clinicians another option in their toolkit. Dr Martin James was an early adopter of Hemospray. Um, I've used Hemospray in a range of indications. In fact, the first time I used it was on the day of release. Um, we were doing a pseudocyst drainage, which was complicated with an arterial bleed. Uh, standard therapy wasn't successful and the patient was treated with hemospray over the bleeding point and had successful hemostasis. And I was very keen to use it because we knew that there was a uh, standard of care with dual therapy, so injection with adrenaline and heater probe or clip, but often we saw patients who couldn't have their bleeding controlled and often needed other procedures such as interventional radiology or rarely surgery. And the way it works essentially is by driving this inorganic uh, inert powder uh, through a catheter using CO2 um, to drive the delivery. And Hemospray has continued to be an important tool for him and his patients. So, for example, um, I was treating a patient on call this weekend who had a bleeding point that was difficult to access for deploying a clip. Um, injection therapy was not ideal because it was quite a diffuse area of bleeding. And this, even in retroflexion of the scope, uh, gave access to deliver therapy with a good stream of powder that over the course of three or four minutes of several sessions of uh, treatment gave a whiteout and control of treatment and that patient then has settled over the weekend without any evidence of re-bleed during the first uh, three or four days. So the time I would use a hemospray is when standard of care therapy has been inadequate and there's ongoing bleeding or if the location for treatment is difficult to be treated with standard of care. Dr James's colleague, Professor Chris Raganath, has also found hemospray to be an important innovation. I do a lot of treatment, uh, removing early cancers in the gullet and the stomach, and sometimes they do bleed. So uh, when they bleed, then we use uh, hemospray uh, to control the bleeding. Because previously, we used to uh, um, try and uh, treat them with injections of adrenaline and things like that, and the patients would need major transfusions. But with hemospray, you're always a bit confident that um, if there is a bleeding, you can always manage that. So how does this translate into boosting staff confidence? Especially with our new starters, it makes them more comfortable going into an emergency situation or even our routine procedures like EMRs and ESDs. They know they can, they've got that there, it's easy to use and it makes them feel a lot more confident coming into that situation. We know that current treatment is imperfect. It can work in a majority of patients, but there are difficult cases where we need to think of other options. And without the investment in innovation such as hemospray, it's hard to see that we can advance the field of medicine.